if you study the Bible, you like studying the Bible, there is a one context, whether you do it formally or informally. One secret you will come to understand that God loves to operate in certain secret levels. I remember years back when the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, was celebrating his birthday. He told us about celebrating one's divine nature. I thank God for the grace to follow today. Thank you, Jesus. I am grateful. Many times in the Bible, when God has a plan of redemption, he hides the plan. Now, let's start about from beginning. When God wanted to select a leader of Israel, and the Israelites comes out and now starts talking about, oh, we want a king just like other nations. God did not deny it. After a while, God came in and said, okay, now you are free to look for the king. Now, let's see how the king was found. King Saul was the very first king of Israel. And the way he was found, God has to disguise in a problem. The donkeys got lost. Actually, the donkeys were not lost. It was a, a one way of direction to give Saul direction to the prophet Samuel. Of which from there, now Saul gets instructions of why he has come. Now that's the place now Saul discovers he did not come for the donkeys. It was not the donkeys that got lost. The donkeys disappeared in thin air. And then after God submitted the, the message to Saul, the prophet tells him, go back home. The donkeys are at home. <laughs> you see, yeah, there are, sometimes the Bible becomes so interesting. Now, Moses wants to be a deliverer in Israel, and God appoints him from birth. Now, chaos start in Israel. Then, and there becomes problem here and there. The firstborns are killed, and the devil knew. There is a savior in between these are born between zero years and two years. So there was a, 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 an attack of boys, boy child from two years under in Israel. And then that came in. Israel had to hide some children of which uh, Moses becomes one of it. I don't want to get into the story. That's why I'm going all flopping, flopping over. Now, we go to Jesus' time. When Jesus was born, another thing comes in. The devil realizes there is a deliverer that has come. And what do we do? Kill the small boys of under two years. Now, what do we do that? The attack system. When God knows very well that there is a plan that is about to be executed, the first thing, he hides the secret. In a reliable source. Now, God gives a revelation to prophet Daniel in the Bible. The book of Daniel speaks it very well. And Daniel was in the king's palace as one of the wise men there. The, 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 the advisors of the king. And then uh, God speaks to him and speaks in details, in details. And then in the end of God speaking, he was told by the same God who was speaking to him the secrets. He said, now, hide these things I'm telling you. Because the time is not yet. Until the appropriate time, the secret was not to be revealed. Then we see the same thing playing back after uh, Jesus now dies. And then John the Revelator is now getting the same content 
prophet Daniel was given in a visual trance. Same. Everything the same. Now, one thing that happens in between, I don't understand what took place, but I realize one factor that took in. It was a secret. Now, this time is not more secret. God speaks to John the Revelator and tells him, the time is up. Now, reveal the secret. Reveal the revelation to the multitude. And that's exactly what happens at appropriate time. Now, this takes me to a place where you see there are a lot of things that happens in the ministry. When I talk about this, what comes in my mind the very first time is a uh, prophet, uh, Hubert Angel. Now, Hubert Angel talks, uh, uh, what comes in my mind is prophet, pro, senior prophet T.B. Joshua. Now, I'm talking about Scorn in this one. There are a lot of secret things that happened that it is now people who have the prophetic eyes will start seeing what's happening. We saw this thing very far, far from now that the, 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 the happenings that are happening even now, I, I'm trying to censor the words I'm talking about so because I know uh, the sensitivity of these words so I don't want to just bring the words to start talking about them. So many things were not hidden, and so many people, so many things were hidden, and many people are like, "Oh, what is going on? What is this? What is this? What is this?" But God was preparing a mission for His own, the unveiling of the hiding, of the grace that was upon Mama Evelyn. No, no, no one thought of it. It was God hiding things that should be unveiled in real time. Well, if you see how scorn is running now, you will realize God was hiding something in her. Now, all these things we are talking about is because so many people call me. And sometimes these contents I give here is because of uh, some few people talking to me in one way or another. Now, the hiding of the information and the secret, they are not given to so many, maybe one or two. And sometimes the people that have the, the, the secret information of God's doing or what God is trying to do at that moment does not even understand. They don't even know. Yes, they don't even know. As sometimes they don't even understand what's going on. Now what I'm trying to say is that God can work his own plan. Every moment he wants to work his own plan. So let's allow him to work his own plan as much as we know. I'm Timothy Profitable and this is still Blevoy. We handle spirituality, economic and social matters. See you in the next episode. God bless you.